Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about powers of monomials, okay? So the first two pages, I want you to follow along with me and take some notes. And then the last page, you have a chance to try some problems on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did, all right? So we're gonna talk about two specific rules. The first one is called a power of a power. So notice I'm saying the word power twice, right? And so here's our first example. We have y to the third power, in parentheses, and that whole binomial is raised to the second power. So really think about what does this mean? Okay, what this really means is y cubed times y cubed. So notice I wrote y cubed twice and that's where that comes in, the two, right? And each of one of these y cubes means y times y times y times y times y times y. So all together there's one, two, three, four, five, six y's. So the answer is gonna be y to the sixth, all right? So when you have a power to a power, the rule is you multiply the two powers together, all right? So let's say if we have a to the m to the nth power, all right? So this would just be a to the m n power. Here we have x to the seventh to the tenth power, and again, the rule is you multiply the two powers. So that's just gonna be x to the 70th power. All right, let's do one more over here. Let's say if we had x to the 20th to the 5th power, that would give us x to the 100th power. If you turn the page, let's take a look at now another rule called the power of a product. All right, and notice this time we have two different variables inside the parentheses. All right, and these variables are being multiplied together. So it's x, y to the 5th power. All right, so we're multiplying x and y together. That's where we get the product. And then we're, we're raising it to a power. And what you do is you raise every single part of the, what's inside the parentheses to the power of what's outside the parentheses. So this is gonna equal x to the fifth, and then also y to the fifth. All right, so again, it means x to the fifth and then y to the fifth. This one is going to be a, to the n power times b to the n power. Now here we have 5x to the fourth uh, cubed. So again, I could say this is 5 to the third power times x to the fourth to the third power. And I know 5 to the third power means 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. And then x to the fourth to the third power Okay, is going to be x to the 12th. So it's going to be 125 x to the 12th. All right. So now that you understand a little bit more about powers of monomials, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's head through with these problems. Okay. So the first one, we have x to the 4th squared. So this is a power of a power problem. So remember, the rule is you multiply the powers. So this is gonna be x to the eighth. Here we have another power of a power. So we're gonna multiply the powers. So that's gonna be x to the 16th. Here we have another power of a power. So that's gonna be y to the 20th. Now these three problems, we have power of a product, right? Because we're multiplying five times x cubed and then we're raising it to a power of two. So every part of what's inside the parentheses gets squared. So five squared is gonna be 25. And then x cubed squared, remember you multiply the, the, uh, the powers, will be x to the sixth. Here we're gonna have x to the eighth, y to the 24th, and last but not least, we have uh, two cubed is gonna be eight, x to the 12th, and then y to the 18th. All right, how'd you do?